my name is Adrian Jensen. I am a senior application engineer with Applied CAX. And today we're going to be doing an introduction to SimCenter FEMAP, which we're calling an agnostic finite element platform. So thank you for joining us. This is a part of our accelerator lunch webinar series where each week after a brief holiday hiatus we present insights into the different facets of the accelerator portfolio from siemens digital industries software so we are applied cax a siemens digital industries partner applied was founded in 2008 and has quickly grown to become a platinum smart expert siemens plm solution partner with clients across North America. Applied has been named by Siemens as North American Partner of the Year multiple times. And last year, relevant to today's conversation, we were recognized for our outstanding achievements with FEMAP. Our customers cover a diverse range of industries from aerospace and defense, marine, energy, automotive, high-tech electronics, and more. Over the years, companies have come to rely upon us and our real world knowledge for software recommendations, instructor led training, and technical support. Here at Applied, we specialize in supporting these Siemens products and we're recognized as smart experts in NX, Seam Center, Tim Center, Team Center, and more. Not only do we sell the Siemens software products, but we use them ourselves. In fact, I'm the director of engineering for the simulation branch of our company, and I spend more time with the software than any other tool. I think it's safe to say that we're experts in it, and we can make you and your teams experts as well. Our deep bench of engineers and support staff helps companies improve their engineering methods, whether it's through software licenses, CAD workflows, CAE support, CAM posts, or PLM architecture. And that's why we like to say, our motto is we do this every day. So what is the Accelerator? Accelerator is an integrated portfolio of software services and software that delivers on this promise of a digital enterprise. And they do this by incorporating design, simulation, manufacturing throughout the product lifecycle. In this webinar series, we're gonna address the four main pillars of this portfolio, CAD, CAM, CAE and data management. Today, we're gonna to be focusing in on the finite element modeling and post-processor platform called FEMAP, which is a part of the Sim Center section of the Accelerator portfolio. This Sim Center branch of the Accelerator portfolio, it's a flexible, open, and scalable portfolio. It's got the best predictive simulation and test applications that support you at every step in the digital journey from back of the napkins kind of sketch all the way to production. Sim Center is really a key component within the accelerator. Okay, so a quick overview of the topics we're gonna to be getting into. If you're a regular at my technical seminars, prefer, prepare for something a little bit different today. I'm gonna be talking about the flexibility of FEMAP and how it integrates into the larger digital twin environment. If you're unfamiliar with the software, this seminar will provide a great general overview. Uh, for the regulars out there in the audience today, hopefully this seminar shows you some of the unique benefits of this tool. So while FEMAP is a part of the Sim Center branch of the Accelerator portfolio, I wanna highlight its agnostic nature and how it plays well with a wide variety of geometric and analytic data types. I'll demonstrate this with some sample workflows, importing geometry, exporting analysis decks, and post-processing simulation results. So before I mention the digital twin, this is a bit of a buzzword at the moment, but it's really in line with what engineers have been doing or trying to do or working towards for decades. Except without modern tools, we weren't really creating a digital twin. It was more of a, a digital cousin. Um, a true digital twin is a, a virtual representation of a physical part or process. 
and it's used to, to better understand and predict the physical counterparts, performance, behavior, and so on. You can use a digital twin throughout the product lifecycle. You can use it to simulate, predict, optimize the product, and also the production system. And you do all of this before you actually invest in physical prototypes. So you want to incorporate a broad spectrum of engineering, multi-physics, data analytics, machine learning, and the digital twins are basically, they're able to demonstrate the impact of all of these, the design changes, the usage scenarios, environmental conditions, and so on. And it really eliminates the need for a bunch of costly and slow physical prototypes. This cuts down on your development time, and it really improves the overall quality of the finalized product or process. In short, a digital twin enables design and manufacturing teams to collaborate and move faster. SimCenter FEMAP is a general finite element modeling and post-processing platform. That's literally what FEMAP stands for. It can be used for a variety of pre and post-processing tasks, or structural, thermal, and fluid form. We call it agnostic because it's designed to work with a wide range of geometry types and analysis solvers. So whether you're working with CAD platforms like NX or Solid Edge that use the native parasol geometry engine, or you have geometry coming from SolidWorks, CATIA, Autodesk, et cetera, FEMAP has the capabil capability to import, combine, and modify these geometry files. When it comes to the solver interface, FEMAP's most commonly paired with SimCenter NASTRAN, formerly known as NX NASTRAN, but it also supports MSC, NEI Autodesk, Abacus, ANSYS, and LS Dyna. On screen, we've got some of the examples that we have built with a variety of geometry types and analyzed with a variety of solvers. So starting the process, for an analyst, it usually starts with some sort of geometry, hopefully not just a paper drawing, but something digital. Here's a list of the different type of geometry import and export options. So once you bring these into a model, modify them, you also have the ability to export those. So it works as a very diverse tool. Rather than just a big list of file extensions, uh, let's show you this in action. So let's say you're tasked with providing some sort of structural analysis on an electronics package under a variety of loading scenarios. Maybe one part of your team is really in charge of designing the enclosure, the hardware, the mounting brackets, et cetera. And when they design this, they may not have gotten into the specific details of the printed circuit board that's a part of the assembly. So they could be working in one CAD package, Solid Edge, SolidWorks, et cetera. But as the analyst, you need a bit more information than just kind of the broad structures. Another part of the team might be working on detailed printed circuit board design. And they could be using a different tool entirely, something like AutoCAD. You need the ability to incorporate both of these data types into one model. So the next step here is to import this DXF file, which has the details of the circuit board. Let's bring these in as points and curves. And as you can see, I'm overlaying both geometry types in one FEMAP model. So now I have the large structural components. I have the details of the electronics. I can now move forward in the analysis model and really get what I need with a variety of different input types. So I know importing different geometry types makes for a truly captivating demo, um, but I wanna show you a bit more. Uh, we don't have time today to go through the whole process in detail, uh, but here's kind of a quick video of going from geometry to analysis results, all within FEMAP. We kind of walk through the process 
of setting up the geometry, creating an idealized part so we can work with shell elements, something that's going to run fast, provide accurate results. Another thing we do here is simplify some of the components into mass elements. If you're worried about vibration, you know it's all about mass and stiffness. So yes, this video is clearly sped up. However, this overall process really took me maybe six or seven minutes or so. And that goes from the geometry import, defining my materials using PMAP's material database, setting up the mesh, and analyzing the part. Some of the great tools within PMAP that you can see here is the mesh point editor. This allows me to automatically update the mesh and include certain locations where I could have critical components or boundary conditions. This is all automatically exported and analyzed with the SimCenter NASTRAN solver. So here we have results. This shows us our deformed shape, our natural frequency, areas we might need to reinforce this structure, support this circuit board, and do another quick iteration to get a better part or better finalized product. So that covers the, the front end of the design process, but what about when things get a bit more complicated and you need to manage the simulation data? So yes, this is a busy slide with a lot of text, but I just want to demonstrate the variety of analysis interfaces that PMAP can play well with. In fact, I was just helping a client who preferred to use SimCenter NASTRAN in-house for their analysis. That was their tool of choice, but their end customer required that they deliver the analysis decks in an MSC format. PMAP was allowing them to build a model the way they wanted to build it, analyze it with the solver that they preferred, but in one platform, export the analysis deck in a way that the customer needed it. One-stop shopping for all of these things. So while these pre-recorded videos are, are nice and fast and don't have any errors or bumps along the way, um, I can't help myself but to jump into the software live and show you how some of this works. So this is SimCenter FEMAP. And this is a model that I have imported, a SOLIDWORKS model. Um, it had a few parts and pieces missing. I was able to grab some generic hardware off of McMaster Car, import those as step files, and then modify the geometry within FEMAP to get where I needed to go. Now, in this particular example, I wanted to do some quick and simple analysis using SimCenter NASTRAN. I was able to set up things like connections for my welds, specific loading and boundary conditions. But eventually I needed to run this in a different solver. I wanted to explore some thermal impact, some vibration, some nonlinear. Now, rather than having to export this and work in an entirely different, um, a different package, VMAP is giving me this flexibility to do it all in one. If we look at the connection properties, for example, you can see how within one model, I am able to set up things for MSC Nastran, Autodesk, LS Dyna, and the newer multi-step kinematic and structural Nastran solvers. So from one model, you're able to export analysis types for all of these different tools. So I know this was a very quick run through, but I just wanted to show you all how really diverse this tool is and what it lets you do. So a quick summary, this is a finite element modeling and post-processing tool. That's the FEMAP acronym. It's not tied to your CAD package. It's not tied to a solver. It's gonna let you do whatever you need to do in terms of the digital twin, regardless of the type of geometry and the analytic data you have. Once you've got this set up the way you want, you can import and export in a variety of formats. And as I said, if you're regulars, you know our technical seminars, communicating results is very important to me. And FEMAP provides a variety of ways to do that.
So thank you from the team at Applied CX. Appreciate your time, uh, taking some time out of your lunch. As I mentioned before, this is a part of a series. We have variety series, a uh, variety of seminars previously in this series on demand, um, covering CFD, CAM, PLM, and CAD, and we'll have more in the future. So please check out our website for announcements, more information.